glad we can put this nonsense behind us, Dave. Oh, I agree. I mean, we're brothers. We should never let a woman come between us again. And, and they're clean, older ones. I have a question for you. If you could kill anybody in the world, who would it be? Bill. Sean Funny. The only person in elementary school to kill someone with atomic weapons. Seriously. Atomic. Ha, huh, yes. Those certainly were different times. But that's the price we pay for going to school next to a poorly guarded nuclear power plant. And how about you? Who would you kill? You! <laughs> Dear brother, I should have known that you would betray me, but I will have the last laugh. For you see, the tension between Bill and I was merely a front. We've been secretly working together to take you and Darlene down. And yes, he still has his contacts in the nuclear power plant. Hope you two have a blast! Great Scott! big lunch together before you retire, after 30 years of being a cop. I gotta say, I'm a little surprised you made it. I heard about the stuff with your father. <sighs> he was a good man. I blame the Russian prison and the hereditary cases of schizophrenia that have plagued my family for centuries for what happened to him. Yeah, still I was impressed when I heard that you were able to drag yourself out into the hospital after being poisoned. Did you really drag yourself there using only your tongue? 17 miles. But enough about me. I heard about your situation last night. Yeah, the hostage situation at the bank. I tell you, being held at gunpoint on a 40-story building is never easy, but I guess it comes with the job. <laughs> Thank God you're retiring after today. Yeah, and it couldn't have come at a better time. My daughter's getting married tomorrow. My son just made varsity football. And me and my wife are planning a romantic cruise to Zimbabwe. Yes, sir. Life looks pretty sweet. Let's all see you. <laughs> Hang on, man. You're gonna make it. I'll say hello to your father. Right now, I'm just relaxing for the night. True words have never been spoken. Sometimes you just gotta lean back, close your eyes, and hope that when you open them, things will be better. You bastard. I told you over and over again to stop leaving those goddamn banana peels everywhere. <laughs> you don't know. Say hello to your brother for me. Yeah. 
Pin! <laughs>